What's up, everybody? It's Jared from Hashtag We Smoke Me TV and Hook Shrubs and Spices. And today, this day right here, we're going to make sure you cook your food to the right temperature with this Thermalworks thermometer. Not like one musician would say, let it burn. Let's do this. So what's up everybody? I'm back. I'm back again finally. Man, it's been too long. Been way too long. But I gotta tell you something. I really love cooking food and one of the keys to cooking food is actually cooking your food to the right internal temperature. What does that mean? Uh, internal temperature is what's used to measure its doneness, if you will. You don't want to undercook chicken because you may die. You don't want to overcook chicken because it'll be dry. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did anyway. Anyway, same thing with pork. You don't want to undercook pork. You don't want to undercook beef. Uh, you don't want to undercook anything. You don't want to undercook your cake, if you will, because you don't want it to be doughy. You want it to be nice, moist, and fluffy. And one of the best ways to actually, uh, one of the best ways to actually gauge the heat and gauge the doneness of your food is using a food thermometer. Now, there's plenty of food thermometers out there that people use. As a matter of fact, let me show you one. Here we go. Good cook thermometer. Uh, got this, I don't know, from some store. It's about three, four dollars. It's sort of crappy because A, it takes, uh, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 seconds to actually get up to temperature. And B, um, it's just not high quality. Guess what? Look at this. Bam. Popped off. That didn't take much for me to do that. And uh, the glue that held that together actually wore off after just a few months of use. So, uh, yeah, not using that anymore. Uh, but what I have been using um, were these Thermalworks thermometers. Thermalworks thermometers are the best in the game used in kitchens around the world by professional cooks. Uh, and, you know, most people know the Thermapen, um, which I'm going to get one day and I'll do an unboxing for you one day. Uh, but I've been using the Thermapop in purple right here. And then also, uh, I've been using the Thermalworks Smoke, also in purple. You can sort of see a trend. I like purple, right? Uh, anyway, these two thermometers will give you your temperature readings within just a couple of seconds, and they're highly, highly accurate. Uh, when you pull it out, drop in that first uh, you know, half inch into the meat, into whatever food you're cooking, and the temperature is always going to be perfect. Um, with the smoke, I use the smoke normally for grilling meat, for smoking food, uh, anything that's a long time temperature. And it actually gives me two monitors, one for the grill temperature and inside the grill, and then the other one for the meat temperature. Uh, so these two are great thermometers. But today, today what I want to do is actually unbox one of the Thermopops. This guy right here, pretty amazing. Let's get to it. Assistant Director. Uh, I'm going to talk about this Thermalworks Thermopop thermometer. Very cool. Uh, checking out the package, it's sort of silvery, uh, sort of like a matte finish to it. Uh, so that's really nice. I like that. Um, and then you can see the Thermalworks logo prominently everywhere. If it's not their uh, straight up name, it's their icon there. So it's really cool. Look at the bottom even has a logo. So wherever you see this box, whatever angle you see it from, uh, you're going to know where it's from. Uh, another cool thing about this, uh, it's nice, clean, little bit of information on the front, just basically everything you need to know. It's called the Thermopop. You can see a picture of it there. Uh, it says a rotating backlit display, improved, super fast tip, and three to four seconds in reading. So that's how long it takes to actually get your um, reading. Now, now next thing here is we flip it over to the back. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of information on the back of this thermometer. Uh, very, very detailed, uh, just so to make sure that you know exactly, you know, what you're getting in this thermometer. So one thing we can see right here, we can see, uh, of course, uh, that we have the thermometer and it comes with a protective sheath protective club cover, whatever with the pocket clip, shows you the rotating displays right here in the middle. Uh, at the top, uh, it actually talks about um, it being the first rotating display pocket thermometer uh, from them. Uh, and then it has super fast readings, uh, with which are within the final degree in only three to four seconds. So it's designed for serious chefs and professionals. The Thermopop features big digits 
a backlight uh, and a backlight for dark conditions. So you can use this outside if it's like two or three in the morning and you just barely put your brisket on or if it's like four or five in the morning, it's not quite sunlight out yet. Uh, and then, and you know, your porch light may not be bright enough. You can actually use the backlighting, the backlighting, excuse me, on this thermometer to, um, you know, to make sure you know the proper temperature of what you got going on there. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Oh yeah. And then the other thing we have down here, um, we have all of the tech specs. So it's temperature range, the accuracy, resolution, response rate, um, the IP rating, which uh, has to do with waterproofness. I can't remember that, but somebody will tell me in the comments. Uh, the operating range, how cold or how warm it can be. Uh, the probe size, um, how long until it auto-offs, until it goes off on its own. Um, the auto backlight, Lisa, how long it is until the backlight goes off. The battery, uh, what size that is and what type that is, the display and then the product size itself and then all their socials so you can find thermalworks at thermalworks on facebook on twitter on instagram on pinterest on youtube and on blogger so lots of places to find it so yeah let's go ahead and get into this sealed at the top Ooh, that's cool look at that pops right out and it's right here in the black shell casing uh, uh, I think they call it like an egg crate casing, I believe. Really nice, and it's in there, uh, you know, very sturdy. The guy just popped right out. Uh, so it's sturdy in there, but then uh, it also pops out as you need. Let's see what else is in the box. Nice. See this right here? Thermopop instruction. So nice little instruction manual, right? Where it tells you everything about your Thermopop. And then uh, on the back, chef recommended temps. So this thing right here, I actually have one on my fridge um, right over there off screen. But this right here, pretty amazing because, you know, you don't have to guess. You don't have to look around on the Internet. Uh, you don't try, have to, you know, worry about holding on to this box forever. This guy right here, which sets on your fridge, uh, can give you the full temperature range and the proper cooked, cooking temps, excuse me, of everything that you want to cook uh, for the most part. So beef. Veal, lamb, pork, uh, and that's full-on steaks. And then it also has ground meat, uh, just the same. Chicken, turkey, ham, fish, eggs, casseroles, water temperatures. Pretty cool. Oh, and then at the bottom, uh, talks about bread, uh, talks about dough, talks about, talks about butter, uh, and then candy. So yeah, if you're a baker, if you're a candy maker, you know anything like that. If you're baking any, if you're cooking any kind of baked goods. This is the perfect thing for you. Um, so, yeah, so definitely a uh, very informative list that you can just keep very handy right next to you on the fridge whenever you need it. And then uh, the other good thing is the instructions are on the back, uh, which has all those tech specs I mentioned at the beginning. So if that battery ever dies, you can take this to the store with you instead of having to pop that battery out uh, at the store when you're trying to find a new battery once it dies. But it says the cell lasts for 5,000 hours. So it'll be a whole lot of cooking before that dies. So anyway, very cool, very informative. Thank you very much for that thermal work. So uh, yeah, let's check out the thermal pop. So very cool. We have our little uh, pocket clip here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out on one of these pockets. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty nicely right there in the mollies. I like that. And then go ahead and pop it out. No pun intended there. But really cool, really sleek design there. Uh, it actually has a little has a little screen protector on it. So I'll set that off to the side. Maybe. All right. And then, yeah, super easy. So let's check out the back. Right here on the back, uh, you can actually see it has temperature settings, so Celsius or Fahrenheit, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, and then it actually has a button right here which tells you how to rotate it. If you want that display rotated a certain way, if you want it just set stagnant, you could turn on and off the rotate right there. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, next thing right on the front is sort of the on button slash the, uh, slash the light button. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Look at that. Cool. So by now it tells us what the temperature is. So 78 degrees in my house, it's a little warm. I know. 
but uh, it's May in Utah, which for some reason it's been pretty darn cold this year. So very cool. But yeah, has the Thermopop name right there. And then once again, that Thermoworks logo. So uh, now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to do a couple of a couple of tests to see uh, how accurate this thermometer is. Okay, so one test is going to be the freeze test, the frozen or the cold water test, the, uh, I guess, what, would, what do you call it? Like the 32, degree, 32 degrees test? I don't know what it's called. Either way, it's where you take water and you load it up with ice, then you drop the thermometer in there and you see uh, if it actually hits that temperature range. The second test I'm going to do is actually the boiling water test. Now, it says at sea level, uh, a rolling boil is at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't know what the difference is between sea level and 4,000 feet above sea level, which is what we are here in Utah. So uh, I think that's actually going to give us a little less than that 212 degrees. So we'll call it like 210-ish. I don't know if that's right. Uh, two, two, uh, maybe 207, something like that. Uh, so yeah, so we'll do both of those tests. So let's do this. So I'm going to do the ice bath, bath challenge with this one. Let's see if it works. Ooh, 32 Fahrenheit. Perfect. I'm going to be doing the boil test at altitude. So it'll hit like 200 Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry. So let's try it. Degrees. So there you have it, the Thermoworks Thermopop. Uh, really great thermometer, gets your temperature right in that two, three, four uh, second range. Uh, and uh, it's a nice little thermometer that'll come in handy. It's quality made, uh, so you'll be able to use this for a long time, about 5,000 hours, if you will, uh, before you need to replace the battery. So like, subscribe, comment uh, on this video right here, and guess what? I'm going to do a giveaway. How about this? I'm going to give away this Thermoworks Thermopop um, to the person who can tell me the song I referenced right in the opening of this video. If you can tell me uh, the artist who wrote that, uh, the name of the song, you know, what it's from, the, the album title, whatever, I'm going to give you this Thermoworks Thermopop. I'll send it right out. Like, subscribe, and comment. Go ahead and enter the giveaway for this Thermoworks Thermopop. And then check down in the description below because they'll have a link to this uh, on the Thermoworks website as well as uh, some other products that you can get there uh, on the Thermoworks website, uh, thermoworks.com. Um, also, uh, there will be links to my Instagram, uh, to our Twitter page, and also uh, our page where you can purchase your own bottles of Hook Shrubs and Spices.